Good morning. Today is Earth Day. It is April the 22nd. So I thought I would read a book to you. The book I chose is called The Little Gardener by Emily Hughes. And so I thought I'd read something about a garden since it's Earth Day. Inside the cover, you have these beautiful plants. Isn't that cool? Then we have our title page. Now look here. We have an earthworm and a really pretty flower. So they're going to be some intertwined in our story. Be looking for them. Now I chose this book because it has beautiful illustrations. There's not tons and tons of text on each page, but the illustrations are really, really nice. And so I want you to be looking for our main character. And when it talks about his house and little things that he does within his garden, be looking for those things when I show you the pages. This was the garden. Didn't look like much. But it meant everything to this gardener. Did you notice how small he was and how big the plants looked? Be, pay attention this time. But it was his home. It was his supper. It was his joy. Can you find that earthworm that I pointed out to you at the very beginning of the story? Isn't that cool? I love his little house. It looks like a little tiki. Only he wasn't much good at gardening. It wasn't that he didn't work hard. Notice his garden. Did you notice how big the tin can looked beside him? He worked hard. Very, very hard. So do you notice him working in the garden? He was just too little. But there was one thing that did blossom in his garden. Do you see like a little signal here or a little symbol? Look at this stem. Wow, we don't see the top of it. It was a flower. It was alive and wonderful. It gave the gardener hope and it made him even work harder. So there we have the top of that stem. Looks kind of like a zinnia to me. He worked hard all morning. He worked hard all afternoon. And he worked all night. Wow, that's amazing. Still, the garden was dying. He would have no home. He would have no supper. Oh my gosh, how do you think he's feeling now? Must be very sad. Just like, oh my gosh, I'm working so hard and yet I'm not gonna have anything. He would have no joy. One night, feeling tired and sad, he made a wish. No one heard his little voice, but someone saw his flower. Do you see the words that the illustrator has put inside the illustration? And he said, I wish I had a little bit of help. I love how the illustrator did that, put the words inside the illustration. That's why it's always important to look at illustrations because the author might hide or put some things in there they, they really want us to see. It was alive and wonderful. It gave the, the someone hope. It made the someone want to work harder. Now, I love this illustration. Look how this 
gardener looks so big compared to our little gardener? Ooh, that's gonna give us a hint, a hint of what's happening. The next day, the gardener was very weary and slept through the whole day. He slept the whole week. He slept the whole month. Can you even imagine sleeping that long? And when he finally awoke, it had just been long, it had been just long enough for something to change. Ooh. Can you see the change? This was the garden now. And this is its gardener. He doesn't look like much, but he means everything to his garden. And then that's the end of this toy. Now I know a lot of you are supposed to, or I should say not supposed to, but some people have been doing um, like little garden posters or planting a garden, something like that to post on our Trinity Oaks website for um, Earth Day. So please make sure and make that you're um, posting your picture of something that you're doing for Earth Day. But I hope you enjoyed this story, The Little Gardener by Emily Hughes. And I hope you enjoyed those wonderful um, illustrations by this author. Okay, thanks so much. This is Mrs. Greiner.